my name is Brian Peterson, and I am with Achieve, Grow, Succeed Coaching, and I want to welcome you on behalf of Life Coach University, uh, where coaches from around the world have gathered to coach millions more. Uh, all that we ask is, is that you join us in paying it forward. Uh, we just want to create the biggest ripple effect of gift giving the world has ever seen. Uh, and it all starts with each of us, right, in our communities. So um, we don't care how you do it. Uh, use the coaching you get here today to make your life better. Uh, share, teach somebody else. Um, share Life Coach University with somebody. Make somebody laugh. Uh, give somebody a hug. We don't care. We just want you to join us in paying it forward and making this the world that we want to live in, one filled with peace, joy, love, and more meaningful connection. With that being said, let's jump into today's topic. Um, what's your purpose? Why it's important? And how can we find it, right? Uh, once again, my name is Brian Peterson. I'm with Achieve, Grow, Succeed Coaching. And before we jump in too, if any of you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the Q&A box. Uh, I'll be checking on that periodically. Uh, I will be pausing after each of the sections here to see if there are any questions as well. So what's your purpose, right? right? What's the meaning? What's it all? Um, of course, I think all of us throughout at some point in our lives come across this question at some point, whether you're young uh, and still curious and, and life hasn't um, uh, beat you up that much, or maybe you're young and you've seen somebody struggle uh, and you don't want uh, other people to struggle and you're thinking, what's it all about? It's got to mean something more. Or if you're more like me and you hit like a midlife crisis and I wasn't getting any fulfillment in life. I'd been in the restaurant uh, industry for 30 plus years. I was burned out and I wanted more. I just, I thought there's something more. I'm destined for something more, but I didn't know what my purpose was, right? I didn't know what it was. So it doesn't matter what uh, what boat you're in, I just think uh, at some point or another, we all come across this question, right? But the question that most of us ask too is once we decide that we want to find our purpose or what's, what's more meaning is how to find it, right? So what's the meaning, uh, not necessarily what's the meaning of life, but what's the meaning to my life, right? That's what I wanted to dig into. So anyway, um, three sections today. Uh, I don't know if I already said it or not, but uh, I've got my board down here to help keep me on track too. I wish I had like a, an easel and a display board here so you could see some of the stuff. Uh, but uh, I've got my stuff on here to keep me on track. So what is it? Like, what is the purpose? Uh, I like to always go into why it's important. And then uh, at the end of this too, or the last third of this, I'll be teaching you or showing you some ways on how you can find yours, okay? So what's the definition of purpose? I always like to define things because it just gives me a starting point and direction to move. So the definition of purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists, right? That's the noun. The verb is to set as an aim, intention, or a goal for oneself. So what's our purpose is like, what's, what's the goal for myself in life, right? What's my purpose in life? What am I here to do? Uh, so when I ask, what is it? Um, you could probably Google and find a thousand uh, different things. I like to think of it as it's my mission. Like it's my mission in life. It's what I was set here to do. Uh, I believe all of us are uh, put on this earth uh, for a reason. And that reason is meant to give back something, right? Um, but I just want to summarize uh, the hundreds of essays, articles, blogs, and everything that I sorted through when I was trying to find my own purpose and kind of summarize those for you. Um, your purpose is something that you do or you strive to do that gives you more fulfillment in life. Like it's something bigger than you. It's just not something you like. Um, my purpose isn't to be here to make a lot of money so that I can go on a lot of vacations and spend a lot of time with my family. That's not my purpose. Although that is part of a purpose of my own life, but it's not like my bigger purpose, right? So it's something bigger than you. It's your unique gift 
that you're meant to give back to the world, right? And that is meant to make the world a better place. And yes, I think that all of us have unique gifts. Um, <clears throat> It may, it, we may have like similar gifts, but they're unique to you. And we're meant to give those gifts back, okay? So um, it could be a message that you wanna send. It, it could be a, uh, something you wanna teach. It could be a problem you wanna solve. Uh, it could be anything. It could be making people's lives better. It could be any of that. But your purpose is to give something back to the world and make this a world a better place. That's what I believe your purpose is, okay? So why is it important, right? Um, what's having a, what's having my, what's knowing my purpose? Why is that important to me? Um, I know that when I was stuck, I spent, like I said, 30 years in the, the restaurant industry. I just, I had no direction. I felt like I was a hamster on a hamster wheel, just churning away at the wheel uh, and even if I did hop off, I was still stuck in this cage. That's how I felt. I just felt trapped, right? And so I believe that your purpose um, uh, helps you uh, unlock that. I listed um, about 20 different things, uh, 20 different reasons why uh, your reason or your purpose is important to you. Uh, this should help jumpstart you into finding your own purpose. Like this, this might help you give a little motivation to say, man, I want to find mine. I want this in my life. I want uh, this kind of um, uh, feedback. I want this, this kind of inspiration in my life, right? So number one, uh, it will help you set the sail in the morning. It's like your North Star. I always tell everybody your purpose is like your North Star. So when you wake up in the morning and you're writing that new chapter of the day, uh, this, this lets you set the sail. It gives you the direction you need to go, right? Um, if you got lost the day before, if you got off track the day before, you could now start again and, uh, and go in the right direction, right? Uh, number two, it also helps you keep focused. Like, you know what to focus on now. As soon as um, I left the restaurant industry and I knew I wanted, I found out that the uh, I wanted to teach people and I wanted to coach people. I wanted other people to, to find their why. I knew what I needed to focus on, right? I needed to learn how to do it. I needed to learn how to find the people uh, that I needed to, to help. I, I needed to connect myself with other people. So it allowed me, it gave me focus. Like it, it, it gave me stuff to read. It just gave me stuff that, that, uh, that I could uh, set my sights on and go for, right? So it helps give you focus, right? Uh, number three, uh, one of my favorites is it, it helps get you out of bed in the morning when you are struggling and you're having one of those days where you really don't want to get out of bed, right? We've all had them. I know uh, being stuck at the restaurant, I never wanted to get out of bed. Like I would sleep in until just the bare minimum amount of time that it took me to get ready and to drive in and go to work. That's what I would do. And then I'd come home at night and do whatever only to, to repeat the same day. So knowing your purpose kind of like gives you a reason to a little jump start in the morning to get out of bed. Like I know that if I'm having a day where I'm struggling, I can always look up, I've got my purpose, my why and my strengths listed right here so I can always see them. But I can always just ask myself, Brian, why, you know, why, why is it important to get out of bed today? I'm like, because I need to help others because there's other people that are struggling and I don't want to see them struggle. You need to get out of bed. So I get out of bed and I start my day. Anytime I get out of bed and start my day, that's a good day. Uh, so number four, it allows you to give your gift back to the world, right? Uh, remember I said earlier that each of us has a unique gift, but how do we give that back? We do it through our purpose. Right? We do it through what we're, we're destined to, to, to do. Uh, so it's a wonderful way for you to unleash that gift. Uh, number five, it helps you make decisions. Like this is a huge one. Uh, if you ever have an opportunity or a choice or some sort of decision that's in front of you and you're having trouble deciding, you now have something where you can filter, filter out possibilities or filter out options, so to speak. You could take your purpose and what you're doing it for, your mission, and then you could take that choice that's in front of you. 
uh, and you can see if it aligns with that. And if it doesn't align with that, then it's an easy decision. Nope, not going to do it today, right? Or it could be like, man, this really aligns with this. This is a good opportunity. I know I had a lot of shiny object uh, syndromes and opportunities uh, that I tried to do to get out of the restaurant industry. And I would try them for a little while, but they obviously weren't in align with me, alignment with me. So I would just end up quitting them. Well, this, if you know your purpose, this is just another way to sort out and sort through all that mess. Is this, um, is this a connection I want to make? Uh, is this a meeting that I want to go to? Is this a networking event that I want to go to? Is this something that I want to add into my life? You now have a filter uh, for making that decision, okay? So number six, it gives life meaning, right? Uh, it, 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 it makes our, our life meaningful. It gives us something to, um, um, to say that, yeah, I did it all for something, right? And when your life has more meaning, this is the key is that you end up with more fulfillment and satisfaction, okay? And when you have more fulfillment and satisfaction, that's what leads to, to making the hard days great, right? We all think that happiness is this thing that I could reach out and grab, like I can grab happiness and go, yay, I've got my happiness, and do, 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 do. I'm going to go about my day, but it's not like that. Happiness, happiness is like this, like fulfillment will last. Uh, fulfillment uh, is definitely what will help you, uh, will help pull you forward. Um, so number seven on why it's important is you will begin to find solutions to move forward instead of excuses on uh, staying behind. There's so many times where uh, I was going to do something and I would just, I would, I would hit a problem or I'd hit a challenge or something and I'd be like, ah, I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm not moving forward. But when you're aligned with your purpose and you know it's something bigger than you and this is going to help somebody out or help solve a problem, you're going to find a solution. You're going to stop making those solutions and you're going to find, or stop making the excuses and you're going to and start finding solutions. So number eight, uh, it helps align you with you. Like when, uh, or no, it helps others align with you. Uh, so you're going to attract like-minded people. Like when you're totally in alignment with what you're doing, other people are going to see that and they're going to resonate with that and they're going to be attracted to you. So it'll bring connections into your life. It's going to bring other people into your life that are aligned with the same thing as you. And those people might be able to help you fulfill your purpose. They're gonna help bring you along. It's like building a team almost, right? Um, number nine, uh, it helps you from getting stuck in life. So just like we said before, and the reason number one why it's important is it gives you the direction. So let's say you've gotten off track and you've gotten off the beaten path for a little while and you wake up one day and you're like, oh my God, I'm stuck again. Well, when you're stuck and you know your purpose, you can just look up, like I've got mine written here. I can look up and go, that's, that's what I'm doing it for. And I can easily get back on track. I can easily get, the, get back on the road. If I lost my way off the road, I can easily find my way back on, right? Um, so number 10, it helps you find belonging. Like you'll know where you fit in better. Um, have you ever been somewhere or at an event or something like that? You thought to yourself, I just don't belong here. Uh, or there's a group of friends, maybe you felt like you didn't belong or things like that. When you're aligned with your passion and your purpose, you're going to know where you, where you fit in. You're going to know where you belong. Um, number 11, it will be, uh, help you have a better sense of who you are personally. Like when you're in alignment with who you are and who you desire to be, the conversation you have with yourself becomes much better. Like your actions start to mirror who you are and your integrity, like the gap between, we all have this gap in life of, of who we see ourselves as and who we actually are, right? Well, when you become um, aligned with your purpose, that gap narrows and it gets closer. And anytime that gap is smaller, Life is it's just a little bit better for us. Like we're not, it's like anytime that gap's really big, we're just, oh uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we just feel, well, out of alignment, right? I just don't feel 
uh, like I'm, I'm heading down the right path, okay? So number 12 is it helps you have a positive impact. Like anytime you're giving back and you're doing something for the greater good or you're helping somebody out, it's positive, right? And we can all use a little bit more positivity in our lives. Like um, it helps make, uh, uh, and on to the next one, number 13, it helps you perceive life differently. So some of those things and, you know, I'm sorry, I saw a question here. I must've passed over it. Uh, for so long, I've lived my life according to what my family and other people set out for me. My family wanted me to run the family business, but I didn't want to. When I was 16, I moved across the world to get away from the pressure, but then I felt so lost and guilty. I wish I knew about finding my purpose back then. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you feel lost, you feel stuck. Um, and, and that's another thing too. I know in my family, they wanted, uh, of course, they wanted to send me to college and things like that. And I was going to be an engineer, but that's not what my heart was in alignment with. And that's another big reason why I want to share this with people is if we can find out earlier, and I'm going to go over this a little bit later, uh, is to stop other people from struggling, right? So if we could help that, that's always good. Thank you for sharing that. I'm sorry I, I didn't see that right away. Um, so uh, number 14, oh no, number 13, it helps uh, you perceive life differently. So for me now, anytime I fail or I have any setbacks, I don't, I don't see myself as a failure anymore. I mean, I did a lot, of, a lot of good things. I had a restaurant, I lost it. I saw myself as a failure. Uh, all kinds of things like that. But now when I have a setback or I fail, I just see it as a stepping stone. It's like life handed me that challenge because I'm meant to give this gift back. And I needed that failure. I needed to learn from that in order to move forward to be able to give back more. So it, it, it allows you to perceive life differently. Uh, number 14, uh, it will bring a balance or flow to your life. I like flow better than balance. Uh, anytime I hear the word balance, I picture somebody just kind of teetering. I like flow. I think it's like going down the lazy river and I'm cruising along. But when you're aligned with your purpose, right, there's a little bit more flow to your life. Um, I know now that I used to, I used to think, God, I'm spending all of my time at the restaurant. I need to spend more time in my, uh, my family life and things like that. But everything was, was towards the, the business because I had to get this business off the ground. But for me and my purpose now with coaching and, and helping life coaching, I know there's some times where I'm going to flow more towards my business and helping people. But I also know that it's going to flow back to my life again because I know the direction and I know which way I'm going. So it's going to give you a little bit more flow. Uh, number 15, you can begin to tap into your heart and your intuition more. Like uh, everything that was clouding that, or blocking that is now dissipated and kind of moved out of the way. And in the heart and your intuition become a little bit louder and that voice becomes a little bit louder. So you can tap into that more. Uh, number 16, you become more engaged in life. Like life's got a little bit more of a flair to it now. Uh, you stop waiting and you start doing now. Like we talked about before, about finding uh, solutions versus finding excuses. Now you're a little bit more engaged. You're a little bit more willing to face those fears and those challenges ahead of you and those things that would have stopped you before. It, it's life is like, yes, I want to do it now. So I want to get past this. So it just gives you a little bit of oomph behind it, right? Uh, and which leads us to number 17. Uh, it gives you more energy. So have you ever had one of those conversations or sat with somebody for a little while and when you walked away you were like oh my that just it just sucked the life out of me right like your energy was just drained I know we've all had it but living with your purpose or fulfilling your purpose does the exact opposite this is what fills you up with energy I always tell my clients we need to fill our cups because life can be draining and we can't give back to somebody else unless our cups filled so how do we fill our own cup? We find things that give us energy and moving towards and fulfilling your purpose does that. I know that after I get done, like when I get done with this, I'm gonna be on a, 
on a high just because I, I know that I've helped somebody out. I've got a couple of late night sessions because they're in different time zones than me. And I'm so pumped up afterwards that, that like I struggle to go to bed because like my energy is filled. <clears throat> but then I can turn and take that energy and channel it in to my purpose again. So knowing your purpose or having your purpose is going to give you energy. Uh, number 18, you'll have more opportunities open up for you. Just like I said, you're going to have more connections. Uh, more people are going to come into your life when now you're going to see opportunities like you didn't see them before. It's like um, you're, you're cruising down the road and, and this building's been there the whole time. This opportunity's been there the whole time. But now that you know their purpose, all of a sudden there's a neon light that's flashing and it's just, I'm over here, I'm over here, but you wouldn't have seen it before because you weren't focused on that or you weren't in alignment with that. And uh, number 19, it helps you uncover your strengths. Like I truly believe one of the ways that uh, I help people find their purpose is uh, uh, using Simon Sinek's method, uh, Find Your Why from his book, Start With Why, which is digging into the story of your life. And anytime you dig into the story of your life, you find your strengths. And that's what I did with mine. And so uh, it helps uncover your strengths. And anytime we can lean in to our strengths, it just makes life a little bit easier, okay? And then number 20, finally, this is my favorite one, is it ignites your faith in life again and it ignites your uh, desire in life again. I know when I was sitting there uh, struggling, burned out in the restaurant industry, I just, I was defeated. Um, there, was, there was nothing in the tank. I never went to college. I never did a lot of these things. So I had nothing else to fall back on. All I knew was the restaurant industry, and I knew, I desperately knew that I did not want to be in that anymore, but I had nothing, right? And that, uh, that feeling uh, and stunned or shocked isn't even the word. It was just despair, right? But when I chose to channel my energy into finding my purpose, it like lit that fire again. Like I felt like a kid again. I remember uh, as a kid, uh, collecting computer magazines because I wanted this computer so bad. <laughs> this, if I told you about this computer, you would chuckle. It had 1K of memory. But back in those days, this was back in the uh, early uh, 80s, it was like a, a hundred and something dollar computer. And I bought this magazine and I was so excited every day to, to or every month to get that magazine in so I could find a new um, uh, ad for it to see if it had lowered in price. That's the kind of excitement it, it brings to me now. It's like I have this desire again. Now, I'm not saying that when you find your purpose, you're going to wake up every day just ready to charge and ready to move forward. But that desire is like a burning ember. And it's, it's not like a flame that's going to go out. It's like this burning ember that if it does start to die down, you can just fan it a little bit and it bursts into flames again, right? You have faith. I had faith in life again. Like life had handed me so much, um, so many challenges and so many obstacles. I was like, this, this sucks, right? But when I found my purpose and I dove into my why, it's like it ignited that again. And so that's what it's going to do for you. So that's why your purpose is important. And before I jump into how to find it, uh, are there any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Okay. I don't see any on there. Um, if you have something that you, uh, that, or if there's anything you want to comment about what I say or anything like that, if anything resonates with you, feel free to just put it in that Q&A box again, okay? Um, I love the list. Can we get a copy? Uh, these recordings will be up for replay. And so uh, I don't have a physical copy or anything that I could send you, but you can certainly get this and watch this replay again. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to put up on the Life Coach University website, but if you go to lifecoachuniversity.com and then under replays, they'll have a replay of this so you can get that list. That's a great question. Thank you. Okay, so uh, speaking of another list, uh, how do we find it? And this is where I struggled, right? I sat there. Uh, in my chair after a 
crappy day at the restaurant thinking, what is my passion? I remember listening to a lot of motivational videos at the time. And Eric Thomas, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but if not, look him up, Eric Thomas, you got to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. This guy had me pumped up and motivated. He used to say things like, your dream has to be so real. And when you wake up in the morning, you step into your dream. Like your why has to wake you up in the morning. Your passion has to wake you up. And so I was like, sweet. What's my why? What's my passion? And I remember sitting there just with nothing. It was like crickets. And so then I thought, well, how do I find it? And so I did probably what most of you have done too, which was Googled. I Googled how to find my passion. And of course, thousands of things popped up and I ended up going down all kinds of roads and it took me a long time. So what I wanted to share with you here today is 20, just 20 different ideas or things you could do or things you could ask yourself that are going to give you direction towards your purpose. And I also want to share that this isn't some sort of homework that you just do like on a Saturday night, you're like, oh, nine o'clock, going to find my purpose. It's not like that, right? Your purpose is also going to evolve. Like as you change as a person, as is I did more personal development as I grew as a person, my purpose changed and it started to shift a little But What we're after here is that core or that foundation that, uh, that you can ride on and that you can move forward with. So that's what we're looking for. So don't think of this as something that you're gonna go home and I'm gonna answer any one of these 20 questions or things to do and I'm gonna find my purpose and then boom, I'm on my way. This is something you need to cultivate. This is something, it's, uh, you need to try things on. You need to try new ideas. Like there was moments in there when I had jumped into life coaching that I was like, is this for me? It sucked. I wasn't having the experience that I thought it would be and stuff like that. And those are the moments that, that the truth will tell. I remember asking myself, Brian, is this, is this something that you're willing to put in? Like if 10 years go by, and you still haven't seen any success, are you still gonna to wanna to do this? And for me, the answer was yes. Because I knew that I would still work my other job and, and support uh, my wife and our family with that as well. But I knew that I wanted to give back. And so that's what drove me forward. So look at this as something that, that uh, you just keep prying into and you keep looking into. And then eventually uh, when the things start to surface, uh, it's, it's, it's going to uh, be more clear and clear. I look at it like, like that. We're looking for the picture on a puzzle box. If life, eh, if life were a 10,000 piece puzzle, uh, you, and you went to the store, you bought this box, it would have the picture and it had all the edge pieces in, but life doesn't come that way, right? We pick up puzzle pieces as we go along, only they're harder to put together because we don't have that picture right? So what we're doing is we're painting that picture. And the first thing that we want to do when I put a puzzle together is I put all the edge pieces on first. And so that's what we're looking to do here in the beginning is answer these questions, uh, try some of these things off and start getting those edge pieces in. And when you get the edge pieces in, then you can get clear on the picture. Okay. So uh, how do we find it? Like I said, the, the, one of the main things that I use uh, when I'm coaching people is I use Simon Sinek's method. He uses storytelling because I truly believe that your purpose is already with you right now and it lies within the story of your life. Uh, so if you want to look up the books, uh, it starts with why and then his follow up, find your why. It, it can teach you how to do that. Um, I use that. Um, I've added stuff to it. I've added some of these other things. Uh, I call this part the guide to helping you find your why, because all we're trying to do here is spark um, ideas and spark interests and see if we can see if there's a little flame down there, a little ember that we can that we can uh, expand and we can get lit. Okay, so here we go. Uh, number one is identify the things that make that you can do uh, to make people's lives better. Right, so if your gifts are meant to give back to the world, start going through and identify things that you do in your life that that, that you can help people make their lives better. Uh, number two, uh, think back to uh, activities that made you forget where you were or that you got lost in time or that uh, I know you're in the flow, so to speak. 
because anytime you're engaged in something where you lose track of time, that just shows this will lead to more fulfillment for sure, right? Uh, but this shows that you're already interested in something. And it may not be the thing itself that you find, but always remember, always pry, be curious, like dig in and maybe it's something deeper. There's something inside of that uh, thing that you're doing uh, that you're, that's where your purpose lies, okay? Um, uh, the, yeah, uh, something, this is something you can do for hours and hours. Just list as many things as you can and then just start digging into those, okay? So number three, uh, recall what you like to do as a kid. Remember, I was telling you the story about me and the computer as a kid. I dug into that. I thought, man, is, is computers or is something to do with technology? Uh, was it because I really got excited about it all the time? I also loved being outdoors. We lived out in the countryside out in California. So I was always playing outdoors. I was always creating and making up games. Um, but maybe you can tap into something there. Um, I didn't at that time, but it certainly engaged my mind into thinking or told my brain and my mind, let's find things that you're interested in. Uh, yeah, and patterns of these things you enjoy could hold the clues to your purpose as well. Uh, number four, pay attention to what people are asking you for help for, right? Like, what are they, what are people always coming up to you and asking you for help for? I know that in my restaurant days, people were always coming up to me and it's like, Brian, you know, I know you've been through a lot. What would you do in this situation? Like, they would ask me about life situations or like, Brian, I got this problem. Uh, I need your advice. Uh, a lot of it was financial too, because they thought since I owned a restaurant, I knew a lot about financial but they were always asking me about life questions. So that was another clue as to my direction, right? So that might help you out. Um, number five, uh, imagine what you want your legacy to be. It's not really the greatest uh, feeling of question to ask, but when you ask yourself, like, what's the legacy I want to leave behind? What do I want my friends and family to say at my funeral. Like if, if I were standing there and being an observer, what would I want them to say? And for me, when I, when I hit the burnout at the end of the restaurant industry, the only things I could think of them saying were, uh, Brian's a drunk and he made me laugh. And certainly he made me laugh. I love that part of it, but the other side I didn't. I wanted to change that. And so when I clearly defined uh, the type of person that I wanted to have people remember me by, that gave me a sense of direction on the sense of the things that I needed to do and how I needed to be as a person. And it also kind of gave me um, direction on uh, what my calling was for. Excuse me. Okay. So number, that was number five. Um, Number six, what are the things you're willing to do and go the extra mile for? Like these are the things that regardless of setback or regardless of failure, no matter what happens, you're willing to push through and you're willing to persevere and go on. Uh, inside of that, there might be something inside of that that gives you uh, some direction. Um, number seven, if you had a chance to teach others, what would you be teaching? Like, is there... Uh, knowledge that you want to pass on uh, or uh, what change in the world would you like to teach people? Something like that. Like how could you improve somebody's life? Uh, what excites you about the world uh, that you want to teach other people? You can write several of those things down and see if that ignites something. Um, number eight, uh, what would you do to, what would you do for work for free? Now, this question, when it was first presented, it was something like, if money were not an option, if you didn't have to wake up and worry about money uh, and you could do anything you want, what would it be? And I was like, well, I'd be on an island on a beach somewhere enjoying myself or on a yacht. You know, I'd, I'd be out golfing all day. What do you mean? What would I be doing? So I had to flip that around because I didn't feel like golfing and being on the beach was my purpose. Although I do enjoy doing those things and climbing in the mountains for sure. But I knew that that wasn't giving anything back. So I added, what would you do for work? Uh, if, you, if you had to work for free, what would that be? Because this is actually going to help you find fulfillment as well. Because you wouldn't be doing that if it didn't fulfill you. 
um, uh, ask yourself why you would do it. Start prying, remember, get curious. Just start prying in there and see if you can dig out a little bit more. There might be a gift inside there that you, that you wanna give, right? Uh, number nine, uh, what is the reason why people like you the most? Like there's something valuable about you that people like. We have a, a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? We have this unique ability to not see ourselves in the light that everybody else sees us in, right? I know my wife or my friends or my coworkers or my employees at the time, I was always looking for their strengths and looking at them um, in that way. So what do people like about you the most? You may be able to find something in there, uh, things that are unique to you, okay? Uh, number 10, we talked a little bit about this uh, uh, before. Like, is there a problem that, that you wanna solve? Is there something in society, the world that you think needs to be solved? What are some ways that you could go about solving that? Uh, another way to reframe this question, so to speak, is like, what angers you about the world and what are some ways or what are some things that you could do to go about changing that? And then try those on, go out there and explore those. One of the uh, great ways of, of doing any of these type of things is you can go out and volunteer. You can go out and immerse yourself into some of these activities to see them on. It's like trying on some clothes and see if they fit and see if you like it or not. Okay, so that was number 11. Uh, 12, is there a message that you were meant to deliver and what are some ways that you can deliver it, right? Is there something that, is there some sort of thing that you wanna spread and let everybody know about it? How can I go about knowing it? Um, uh, another, like what are some needs in the society? Uh, one that I'd reflected on too, for an example for that one would be like, we needed more connection. Like we needed a way to connect people more um, instead of being in isolation, especially when the web came about and uh, video games and all these things that kept us indoors instead of going outdoors, right? Uh, and especially in times of COVID. Well, that's when social media like Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and all these different things came out to allow us. So that's like a need that needs to be filled. So it doesn't have to be necessarily this big, um, this big uh, life changing thing where you got to go out and and do these things uh one of my favorite things to say is like you may want to you may want people to get through life easier and you sell the best tires there is and your purpose is to get all the the cars out there equipped with the best tires i don't know it just doesn't have to be this big thing because i remember in the very beginning thinking to myself i got to find something big i mean I, I think life coaching is big but it's not as big as like ending world hunger or some of these other uh, missions that I see other people on, okay? So um, what, uh, number 13, what are some personal struggles that you faced that you want to eliminate, right? I know for mine, um, I didn't want people to go through 30, 35 years of doing something only to get burned out and have no fulfillment. Uh, like back here for so long, uh, the comment earlier was, I wish I knew about finding my purpose back then. Yes, that's, that's, what, that's one of the problems that I want to solve. That's one of the struggles that I want to solve. I don't want to see people go through that. I, I, don't get me wrong. I think that struggle is good, right? Struggle helps us grow, but let's find your purpose. Let's get you on the path. Let's get you on the, the right road first. And then struggle along the way because you're certainly going to pull yourself and pull yourself forward more and move forward more if you know what your purpose is. Um, let's see, 14. Uh, what are some of the meetings or lessons of your struggles? Like uh, I went through, I lost my restaurant. I had a restaurant for 10 years. Uh, lost my restaurant, lost my house, lost all my properties or our properties, my business partner, I, my wife, we lost, lost everything. So are there some lessons in that that you want to teach people and you want other people to learn that you, you that goes back to the, what's the message you want to spread, right? Um, uh, one of the things that losing my restaurant taught me was that, um, 
that life isn't just about all these like material things and things like there's there's more to it out there and that I could learn from failure because it, it crushed so hard. I just kept thinking that I was a failure and I popped out of it was that I failed. I'm not a failure. I failed, but personally, I'm not a failure, especially if I can learn from it, right? So is there a lesson in there that you can learn? Uh, so number 15, what are your strengths? So what are the things that you do really well? Is there something inside of that that you could use to give back? And if you struggle, like a lot of people do with finding your own strengths, ask your friends, ask your family, ask your coworkers, uh, somebody knows, they're gonna see something in you that you don't see in yourself. And then inside of that, you might find something. Um, number 16, what fills your heart when you come across it? Like what just, fills the, that little void in there and stuff and just bring, bring some life into you. What does, what fills that? And how could you bring more of that in, into life? How can you bring more of that? Uh, um, number 17, uh, ask a series of why questions. This is more of like a coaching technique as well. Uh, when I ask a question like, what is the impact that I wanna have? I can answer that question. But to get deeper, to get to the root, to get the true desire of it, I'm going to ask why. Well, why do you want to do that? Like, why do you want to do that? If somebody came to me and they wanted to lose weight, I'd be like, why do you want to lose weight? And they might say, well, I want to fit into these jeans better. And I could say, why do you want to fit into those jeans better? And well, because I, I want to look better. Why do you want to look better? So on and so forth, right? Until you get to the root of the problem where they, they want to meet somebody and they want to be with somebody. This is the same thing there. You can get to the root of what you want to give back and why you want to impact. Uh, number 18, what are your current interests? Like what, 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 what interests you now? What are some things now? I know that I had tapped into, before I completely hit my rock bottom, I had tapped into personal development. And one of the things that I want to do and still is on my plate is to do motivational speaking. I remember going to work a lot of times teaching these things that I'd learned in these personal development books and it gets some of my coworkers fired up and that kind of fueled me, that kind of that fired me. So I was always interested in teaching other people that. So what is something that interests you and in, in, uh, uh, why do they interest you? You could dig around in that, okay? Um, what are your current values? Like, what do you value the most? Do you value family? Is there something that you could do in there to uh, foster family growth or foster relationships in the family? There could be something inside of there, inside of your values that you have. Plus, if you dig into your values, you could always see how in alignment you are with your own values, and then you could, you could squeeze that gap too. Uh, and number 20 is, what is something that you would die on the hill uh, doing, trying to do? Like if, if you were to pass away tomorrow and you had given it your all to this one thing, this one purpose, and you tried your best at it, you would be happy. You would be totally fulfilled and elated. Uh, what would that be? Is there something there? You could certainly tap into that. So that leads us, uh, that's number 20, that's it on there. So I just wanna summarize and then I'll see if anybody's got any more questions. Um, your, what's your purpose? Uh, your purpose is your gift, your unique gift that you do something that you strive to do that gives you fulfillment and gives your life meaning. There's, uh, why is it important? There's all kinds of reasons. It, it sets the sail in the morning, gives you direction in life. It gets you unstuck and it gets you back onto the road of life. It brings opportunities to you. It helps you make decisions. It helps filters out other things. It helps you make decisions. Um, it brings people into your life. It brings you in alignment with who you are. All kinds of reasons on why it's important. And, and how could you find it? Numerous ways. If you, uh, if you just jumped on and you missed a bunch of this, I listed about 20 different ways. Uh, my favorite uh, is... Simon Sinek, it starts with why and, and his book, Find Your Why, which digs into the story of your life. And not only that, but that helps you find your strengths as well. There is another method out there called Ikigai. I don't know if I pronounced it right. Uh, it's a Japanese 
of uh, it, it has you do dig into four different areas of your life. What am I passionate about? What problem do I want to solve? What am I good at? And I forget what the last one is, but everything that's inside that circle, you find that center circle, that's another way. So there's all kinds of things you do. I implore you to go out and experience it for yourself. Try on new things. Um, uh, motion creates emotion. Uh, so get out there and do stuff. When you start doing stuff, that kind of builds the excitement up in you. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Uh, hang on one second here. Let's see, what could the first steps uh, to do what I hit, uh, what could be the first steps to do what I hit rock bottom? Sometimes things aren't, are, are going well and then something happens suddenly back at rock bottom. Getting out of rock bottom is so hard sometimes. Yeah, I, I must have hit about four or five rock bottoms. And what I can offer you is this, is that uh, keep moving forward, keep experiencing the things that yourself, have faith that know that there is something that's unique to you that you get to give back. And if you keep finding that, if you keep searching for that, uh, I, I know Google has a countless ways, read books, uh, there's, there's motivational stuff. What kept me out of the stress now uh, is uh, I started meditating. I started uh, breath work. Uh, I started doing things that filled my cup. It maybe not necessarily would have been towards my purpose, but I found things that gave me energy. Hiking was one of them. So when I was at my rock bottom and all I wanted to do was sit at home and drink and do nothing else, I found ways to kind of fill, me, fill my cup up and give me energy. So try that um, and, and know that when you do, every time you get closer to finding your purpose, the, the less and less you're gonna hit those rock bottoms. And, and I always tell people, uh, especially in my coaching, is find ways to raise your floor too. Uh, so every time you raise your ceiling and as you're getting higher, find ways to raise your floor. So when you do fall down, it, eh, so when you do fall down and you do have another rock bottom, it's not way down here again, it's up here. And I do that through personal development. I do that through reading books, uh, connections. Um, you know, uh, go find people that, um, that are on a mission in their life and surround yourself with them, go volunteer. There's all kinds of things at rock bottom, probably one of the most important things you can do is, is connect with people who are positive in there. I hope that helped. So uh, before we go, is there anything else? Okay, so amazing. And once again, uh, it was so great to be with you here today. Uh, my name is Brian Peterson. I am with Achieve, Grow, Succeed Coaching. And one more reminder, that this was brought to you by Life Coach University and their Pay It Forward platform, where coaches from around the world have gathered to coach millions more. Uh, all we want you to do is to join us in paying it forward. We don't care how you do it. Um, I just know it all starts with us and the community that we're in right now. Uh, teach somebody what you learned today, share with them the Life Coach University, uh, give somebody a hug, buy somebody a meal, make somebody laugh, just reach out there and pay it forward. I promise when you do, that ripple effect of gift giving just spreads. And that's all we're looking to do is spread that ripple as far as we can get it. So thank you very much. I love you. You have an amazing afternoon. Bye.